every Formula E race is extremely important. And there is no way to get a better result than to get a, a good preparation. And most of our preparation is done at the sim, at the simulator, with my race engineers, with the team, with the crew, with everybody. We spend a lot of time uh, getting through every possible scenario that we may encounter on a racetrack and evaluating how to deal with that on the sim. The sim is super precise and is a great tool to help us achieve good victories and podiums on the racetrack. Our biggest uh, challenges in the simulator are really to, to get the track model right, because uh, in the end uh, it has to correlate with the real track. So we try to really do as many outings, as many days as we can, to be as close as possible to, to the real life, to get the grip scaling right, uh, to get uh, the qualify right, to get the uh, race simulations right. So we spend a lot of time uh, to really analyze everything and get as close as, as possible to the real life. The simulators today are super accurate and precise. So we work in a scope of different parameters from qualifying to the race to make sure we get the best package uh, and arrive at the racetrack. There is not a specific point that is more important than another. In Formula E, it's all about details. So you have to work very truly every single point uh, during the, the preparation phase. So as for example here in Riyadh, I've never been here, so I spent like five or six days uh, in the simulator learning the track, uh, learning uh, every corner more or less, and also how to manage the energy uh, in, a, in a perfect way. So normally the preparation looks like that. We arrive in the simulator early in the morning and we just do some, some wake up runs. For me, as, as I don't know the tracks, uh, I jump in, just get some uh, 10 to 15 laps just to learn the track and then uh, jump out, analyze the data, see where I'm still lacking speed. And once basically my driving is, uh, is on point, and uh, then we start working either on the setup side or we're working on the, on the race uh, preparation to really see where we uh, need to be efficient. And also there, um, you know, I do 15 laps to see if my, my driving is efficient enough. And then I jump out again, we analyze again and try to improve my driving for efficiency. So that's normally uh, basically one or day, two days. And uh, normally we have uh, even more days, three to four days where we simulate uh, much more like setup or uh, full race simulations. I can give you many different examples of how our preparation on the sim correlated to a good result on the racetrack. But I think the most evident one was 2019 Mexico Ypres, in which I managed to win in the last few meters. And I knew exactly how much energy I had in my pocket, just because we practiced so many races on the sim, that when I arrived at the last lap, I knew exactly what I had to do to conserve enough energy to make an overtake in the last meters before the finish line. Yeah, for example, in Berlin uh, last year, uh, the simulator helped me a lot, first of all, to learn the track, but also to be more efficient. Um, re really working on my driving style. Um, the first uh, first outings I was uh, using way too much energy, uh, and then I improved my driving. The lap time stayed the same, but my efficiency just got better, so I less use energy. And for example, then in the race, uh, yeah, I, I could basically hit my first podium. Uh, I passed Andre Lotterer in the, in the last lap uh, because it was just more efficient and had more energy left. <laughs> 